All right, precision teaching. We're going to blow through this one in a hurry because there's so many people that know so much about this right now that you don't need much more information. But what we're looking for, as Ogden always taught us, care enough to chart. If you're not charting, you're flying blind. And no child deserves that, especially if they're at risk. We're looking at frequency per minute. We're looking at corrects or learning opportunities or errors, whatever you want to call them. We make database decisions. We look at celerations, decelerations, and flat lines. And then you can tell any parent, if the line's going up, it's a good thing, unless there are errors or misbehaviors. If the line's going down, it's probably a bad thing because that child is not learning. And if the line's going flat, you need to make a decision because this child is no longer gaining anything from your instruction or your practice. And then we have empirically set standards. The Sacagawea project in Great Falls, Montana, had thousands of children doing math and uh, reading every day for a minute. And they found what the standards should look like for thousands of kids. And it said, you gotta be somewhere between here and here on the chart in order to be considered fluent. And those standards are well known to most of us. And if they're not, uh, send me an email and I'll send you a batch of about 120 of the most common academic pinpoints and their standards.